click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem number 3 which is based on a discrete time Fourier transform. In this question also we are going to do the same thing but the samples are different. So let's see what is the question and then we'll move on to solution. Problem number 3. Find the DTFT of x of n. The samples are 2, 1, 2. Here also origin value is not marked. So we'll assume my first bit is my that is a leftmost bit is my origin value. And then and compute the magnitude response but only for omega equals to 0 and omega equals to pi by 2. So which means we have to calculate only magnitude response but for omega equals 0 and omega equals to pi by 2. So first of all we will find out the TFT and then we will move on to a magnitude response. Now this was the question. In my question the sample value that is origin value is the absent. So we will assume the leftmost bit is my origin value. And now I will apply a definition of DTFT that is discrete time Fourier transform. Now, here the sample value start from 0. How many samples we have? We have total 3 samples and the origin value is here. So, I can say that my n value varies from 0 up to 2. Now, I will break this summation value. So, first of all, we will substitute n equals to 0. So, this n is replaced by 0 as well as this one is also replaced by 0. But n into anything is that is 0 into anything is 0 and e to the power 0 is always fun so we will write only x of 0 now next one is n equals to 1 so we will have e to the power minus j omega only now we will substitute n equals to 2 now i will substitute all my sample values in this equation so origin value having amplitude of 2 this x of 1 having amplitude 1 and this x of 2 is having amplitude 2 i'll take 2 and 2 common from these two terms so i can write 2 into bracket 1 plus e to the power minus j2 omega plus e to the power j omega now I want to replace this whole bracket in terms of cos of theta. So what we can do? We will do simply one thing. e to the power minus j2 omega can be written as e to the power minus j omega and e to the power minus j omega because if the bases are same then orders always get added. So minus j omega plus minus j omega answer is twice of minus j omega and this one also written as e to the power minus j omega into e to the power plus j omega because the bases are same then powers always get added minus j omega plus j omega calculation will be 0 and e to the power 0 is always 1 so now from this bracket i will take e to the power minus j omega common Now look at it e to the power i theta plus e to the power minus i theta is twice of theta and one more thing i can take e to the power minus j omega common from both the sides so this is the two which comes from here and twice of cos of omega is nothing but the formula and now i'll multiply these two inside this bracket And this is nothing but the value of DTFT or we can say that the whole X of N is transformed into discrete time Fourier transform. Now what is the next part? In question it is mentioned calculate the magnitude response but only for two values that omega equals to 0 and omega equals to pi by 2. So first of all in between these two which one is the magnitude response? My magnitude response is 1 plus 4 cos of omega. Now, I will substitute my omega value. 
Now I will substitute omega equals to 0 over here. So cos of 0 is always 1. 1 into 4 is 4 and 4 plus 1 is 5. So my mod of h of omega is equals to 5. Now I will substitute pi by 2. Now, if this omega is replaced by pi by 2, then we know that cos of pi by 2 is always 0 and 0 into 4 is 0. So, you will get only 1 at the end. So, this is how we are going to substitute the values of omega in my magnitude response. So, that's all for now. We will study a new numerical in next video. But for that, stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.